It looks and feels like summer here. There are dozens of different kinds of plants and flowers starting to bloom in the Strain family greenhouses. Zinnies, uh, marigolds, lobelia, uh, begonias, and patience. And patience is our biggest crop. The vegetable crop is also taking root. All the pepper varieties, tomatoes, cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, sprouts. The strains have about six acres of greenhouses and millions of seeds are planted every single year. While we all enjoy the end result, there's a lot that goes into getting to that point. People think, well, I just, you know, I see you throw some seed in your water and it's done. I wish. The flowers and vegetables are moved multiple times throughout the greenhouses during the growing process. And that's just the start. Every day we water, spray, turn the heat up, down, watch the air movement across it. Every day there's, I mean, you got to babysit it. That's about what you got to do. You got to babysit it every day. The planting process began in late December, and it will continue in the weeks and months ahead. We still plant seeds until uh, first week of May. Then we quit plant seed and everything should be shipped out by June 1st. The strains not only stock the shelves and greenhouse at their own farm market, the family also sells what they grow to independent garden centers all over the region. Gary says about 80% of their crop is actually shipped out of town. We're in Virginia, Tennessee, Kentucky, Pennsylvania, Indiana. Right now, Gary is working up to 90 hours some weeks, and many of the employees here are putting in a lot of overtime too. My main guys are getting 60 hours a week right now. That's been since, well, probably December. The fruits of all that labor will certainly be enjoyed by many of us in the months ahead.